This is Jimmy Wang for the New York Times. These animations were created at Xingxing Digital, a Chinese animation studio that is rapidly expanding here. The entertainment landscape in China is undergoing a radical transformation. Cash-rich investors and the Chinese government are investing in an industry where they have historically lagged behind the West, animation and film. No company embodies these changes more so than Xingxing Digital, a six-year-old animation company headquartered in Beijing. Xingxing is a digital animation production company based in Beijing, China. We have uh, over 300 people. We provide production services for animated films, animated TV series. We also do visual effects. The second line of business is original IP creation. We create our own content. We work with production companies from outside of China to create the IP. So the IP is not only distributed in China, it can also be distributed worldwide. The theater isn't the only focus for Xingxing. Several of its projects target the educational children's market, including a cartoon titled The Secret Millionaire's Club, the scripts for which were narrated and created by Warren Buffett. The, best investment you can make. the show teaches kids financial literacy and how to be entrepreneurial. Xingxing cultivates a laid-back atmosphere for its workers, organizing karaoke sessions aimed at getting employees to socialize with one another. Collaboration is critical here. Many of these aspiring artists and programmers are still undergraduates in the Xingxing Digital School, which is training 1,500 students from China's top universities. I really like the work because I really liked coloring and drawing pictures since I was young. Our company has a very active and energetic feeling. Sometimes there are a lot of events, and in the afternoons, there's afternoon tea. The work environment here is very spacious and good. There are a lot of colleagues to socialize with. A lot of them liked art, games, and drawing since they were young. I want to keep doing this. With over 300 employees in its Beijing headquarters and plans to open another branch in Jiangsu province, using money from a $45 million fund the provincial government there has invested in, Xingxing Digital is taking the same growth model and principles the Chinese have used in the automobile and renewable energy sectors and adapted them to animation. Young Chinese learn from experienced industry professionals, some of whom are not Chinese. Children like work, stuff. Yeah, let me see. Well, can I uh, do this? Uh, make a play. Let's see. Stephen Katz, executive producer at Xingxing Digital, is an American with over 20 years of experience in animation and live action films. Oh, you might be able to help me on another project I'm working on. Any studio right now that wants to do this work seriously has to be prepared to be able to train their own people. We have a school that's on premise. It has a total of 1,500 students. Essentially, it's like a trade school, and there's one-year courses and shorter courses, and, and we do interact with them because, of course, some of the students, as they graduate, we use them. Although Xingxing Digital is still years behind its counterparts in the West, one thing is clear. Chinese companies are committed to becoming global competitors in the animation and entertainment industries. The entire industry is growing very fast. The box office doubles every two to three years. I mean, in terms of theaters, a lot of theaters are being built. In terms of the internet, the digital interactive content, it also grows very fast. 